There's still quite a bit of uncertainty in this forecast because our Texas low midweek Ontario doesn't exist yet. The energy, the key piece of it anyway, crossing Mexico in the Pacific Tuesday night. By Wednesday, the models will be able to sample this more effectively and bring you a more accurate forecast. So it's going to be much different than our fluffier snow affair we had this previous weekend. Heavier weather, much stronger winds because it is going to have a deeper barometric pressure and it'll also have temperatures crashing on Thursday. So any slush or wintry mix we see will freeze right up. These are the two main dominant tracks that computer models are putting out. Truth be told, it might be somewhere in between, so keep that in mind. That is kind of the range these models are suggesting. If it takes a further north approach, a stronger low, it'll drive that heaviest snow through Cottage Country and Georgian Bay. On the other hand, this is some of our Canadian computer model guidance keeping that track south of the 401, meaning a blockbuster snow event for the greater Toronto area. This is the winds with a deeper barometric low pressure system. Those winds in orange and red gusting 60 to 90 kilometers an hour Wednesday evening and overnight and particularly in the Thursday time frame when that cold front slides through in the low departs in the east. This is our best guess right now. If you're around the Lake Erie shoreline, the greatest chance of mixing or briefly changing over to rain. This is going to be all snow further north.